Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are doing some cleaning around the house in preparation for Aubrey's sixth bird day party. I'm starting off by cleaning my little glass board that I have in our dining area. Typically, I like to put some type of design on there and then we're gonna be pushing this table up against the wall and eventually for the party, I'll be adding an arch here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and give this rug a quick vacuum. It'll probably get messy later on, so I will have to do it again probably right before people arrive, but I figured I would get it nice and clean in preparation for the party. Moving on, we're gonna clean my sliding glass door. If you have kids, you know these get messy pretty much like every day, <laughs> but I wanted to get it nice and clean so that I could eventually do a little design. This is another area that I like to decorate for parties, making sure it like fits the theme. Let's go ahead and move in to the bathroom. There's a lot of tidying that needs to be done here as well as like a nice deep clean. This is one area that I have not been so good at cleaning recently just because I've been prepping so much for the party. So you can see it's definitely gotten, you know, very dirty and in well need of a clean. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
I don't know about you, but dusting is one of my like least favorite chores. And so I don't usually dust these little shelves in the bathroom. So that is one nice thing about, you know, throwing a party is usually that's when these get dusted and have a nice little reset so that they actually look nice every once in a while. So now we're moving on to the night before the party. The kids are asleep. Actually, I guess it's the day of the party. I stayed up really late the night before because I was kid free and could actually get stuff done. But on this evening, I'm really just trying to get all the dishes washed and put away and the counters nice and clean so that I can go to bed and wake up and do a lot of the last minute party prep. And one thing you won't see me do is give our kitchen area a nice like vacuum mop because I had recently done it and I figured since there was no visible dirt on the ground and people were going to be wearing shoes, it would actually just be a waste of my time because I would want to vacuum mop the floor after the party anyways. So that is why we are skipping that in this video, but stay tuned for the after party cleanup video because that will definitely have a nice before and after. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I have been prepping for this party for weeks. So throughout this video, you may have caught little glimpses of decorations that I prepared for the party. But I have to say there is a whole lot more than the little glimpses that you guys have seen in this video. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that party prep. 
I anticipate that it's going to be a pretty long video because I did a lot of detailed food items, decorations, activities, and treats. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And if you guys enjoyed this video or it gave you any motivation, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.